Here's a look at some of Berkshire Hathaway's top holdings, Apple, Bank of America, Chevron, and of course, Occidental Petroleum. Should you be betting with Berkshire on any of these names, Jeff Mills? What do you say? So I talked about this during my final trade yesterday. I said I was capitulating on energy here a little bit. Looks sort of dumb today. But if, if you look at the charts of Oxy, Chevron, you know, to me, they don't look great. We'll hear from Carter in a little bit. But if you look at the oil futures curve, sort of pointing to additional pressure on the commodity, maybe that's pricing in some of these mistakes by global central banks, the deteriorating demand picture. Uh, I'm not totally sure, but I mentioned Exxon yesterday. Sort of the last chart standing there, uh, Chenier holding on for dear life. So I'm just looking across the energy complex, uh, you know, Oxy and Chevron included, uh, and I'm just not feeling great right now. But, you know, potentially I'm giving up at exactly the wrong time. It wouldn't be the first time, but uh, not feeling good about those particular holdings at the moment. Yeah. Tim? American Express is the one that, that I think, it, first of all, if you look at those names up there, that leaderboard, he's had a great year. And, and he's had a great couple of years on some level, especially because how, how uh, right he got the energy sector. Now, maybe that's yesterday's trade. American Express is is not really been yesterday's trade. In fact, around 145 on the chart, it's it's a pretty interesting level. I just think, you know, global spend is very resilient here. If you look at what, you know, they missed, they reported, and some of that was just a one-off OPEX provision. But I think the revenue momentum continues very very strong there. So th that's one of those names that, that I think has actually lagged and underperformed uh, and is one that looks very well positioned here. What do you think is going on with the Bank of America? So well, I mean, it's two year lows. It's yeah, multi year lows yeah. in Bank of America. It's not traded well, trades at a trough multiple compared to some of its rivals. Clearly, I think they're concerned about the consumer, what's going on in the real estate market, all those different things. Can they compete in this environment? And who knows? I mean, it, the, where there's smoke, there's fire because it's been an underperformer for quite some time. So I understand why Warren Buffett would own it. On valuation alone, it's worth and it's an incredible franchise. But the stock hasn't traded well. Occidental Petroleum, on the other hand, I think they own now 22 percent of the company. You know that stake's going to continue to increase. The stock has been flatlining for a while, but I do think it's pretty interesting here.